but we can't uh, give a, a country uh, support if they do the things that you've said, Rebecca Hansel. My name, my Mrs. Holmes, this is one of the most important processes that we are dealing with as politicians and citizens in the EU uh, and uh, with politicians in our associated partner countries to bring about democracy and peace in the longer run. And I think it's all part of this reunification process on the continent, which ultimately has been brought about uh, by the collapse of the Soviet Union, as was. And it's difficult. It's difficult not only because of the relics of the Soviet system, but also because of 20 years of oligarchization, all of which has a price. If w I am to judge Moldova today, then I'm far more concerned than I am about the other country in debate here, Georgia. Moldova, which has a billion, uh, fraud, billion euro fraud, we've got money washing via Russia, the failure to recognize e e e uh, electoral law, and there is very serious reason to have concern with our colleagues in the parliament and the citizens of the country uh, to make sure that this is put onto a democratic path. The situation is in Georgia is far better, and the association agreement, as proposed, would reward that process if the security service and the justice system were to be as systematically reformed as some other things and minorities protected. All would be well and good. Both countries are subject to very considerable pressure from Turkey. In Moldova, you've seen the kidnapping of uh, Turkish teachers and uh, in Turkish schools and universities have ought to be allowed to continue to work interruptions by the president. Minuti 30 seconds.